oh, sesame whoa. oil. Oh, what is this? Ugh. Huh? What your reaction like that? It's like, I don't know, it's like mal. You know something like mala? mala? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Hi, I'm Matilda and I'm a content creator. I typically post content on mental health, lifestyle, travel and fitness. Hi, my name is Tian. I am a personal trainer. I've been a personal trainer for 10 years. So I wanted to help girls lift weights at the gym. Participants will be given statements that they can agree or disagree on. If they have different views on the statements, they will have to put the corresponding ingredient into the kopi. At the end, they will exchange cups and in kopi. Not for now, I think. It's good. I love my body for what it is. It's a temple in which, you know, I have to bring it with me throughout the rest of my life. So no matter what the changes are, like I accept my body for what it is. I'm really happy with where I am. The reason why I put one step into agree is because yeah. I do wake up on some days with mm. insecurities. And these insecurities sometimes prompt me to also want to change my body. And on the other side, I also feel that there are a lot of aspects of my body that mm. I want to improve. Whether it's, it's not just in its physical appearance, but in terms of like my strength, in yeah. terms of my speed, in terms of my energies and what my body can do. And I feel that I have so many fit, physical fitness goals that I want to achieve. For me, I don't really have clear goals. For me, it's about how I feel in the moment and if I enjoy what I do. Just based off like the first knee-jerk reaction, it's like, nah, I'm really happy with where I am. It's lucky it's that time. Can I taste? I just put it in What is it? Before social media, right, you wouldn't typically have hundreds of thousands of people looking at you. But in terms of like my physical body, it has put a lot of eyes on how I look. And people can tell a difference when how you look last time versus now. The reason why I put neutral is because I think regardless of social media, if I am a self-conscious person, yeah. I don't particularly think I need social media to tell me, yeah. to highlight my insecurities to me. Even if social media didn't exist, I would still yeah, be, so. be conscious. I would still want to work out because I want to look good for myself. So, it, I mean, even if I had 10 followers or 100 followers versus like 100,000 followers, I still feel that I would be the same level of self-consciousness. I think as a Kirby influencer, I'm very sure that there is a lot of negative comments that surround this. Did that make you more conscious oh, okay. what people were saying about you? It did for a long time because there were people that were talking about my body online saying that, oh, does she have thyroid or something? And that made me really question like, hey, do I really have something wrong with me, you know? Were there ever a moment where you let the insecurities get to you and you thought, hey, maybe my life would be better if I were slimmer? Damn. Many times during a certain year when there was like a 20 page over like Hardware Zoom forum discussing how my body looked in 2018 versus that year. I remembered that like these are just opinions and this is not reality. Yeah, yeah, stop. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I always criticize my body growing up. I will stay here. When I was younger, I realised that I never looked the same as the other girls and I was in a all-girls school. So I found that my pinafore always never looked right. It was always just too big and I was always opting for the bigger sizes and I was always wondering why do I look so different compared to my peers. That created a very unhealthy image for me and I was very, very conscious of like how I looked. And then when we go to social media and then it's like, oh damn, like people always, you know, have a certain comment about how you look. And that's why I think that kind of like unhealthy spiral went down. I'm not going to say that I can ever begin to relate to something like that, but I'm really glad that you're sharing this now so that I can see that struggle that you went through and that you're right, like society needs to be more compassionate to people of all different shapes and sizes. Especially from a young age and yeah. what you're telling the, the kids. I got a Rabina! Oh my god. I actually love Rabina. In coffee though. <laughs> I'll be sus. I'm gonna put a bit more. Oh I'm gonna make god. it sweet because there's like all this huh? random stuff inside. If I gained weight, I would make it. Depends how much. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Depends how much. I'm very right. Oh, yeah, why did I take so long to think? I am a personal trainer, yeah. right? And I think the very initial knee-jerk reaction for mm. me is to say I agree to a yeah. certain extent. Just because as a personal trainer, I think there is 
an impression for a very long time that your body is your business card. Mm. A lot of people start going to the gym or yeah. want to get a personal trainer for superficial reasons. But the reason why I finally decided on disagree is because I think I've come to a place as a creator and as, even as a mm. fitness trainer where I believe my clients and the people who follow me trust that I would still deliver and I don't particularly have to look a certain way. A lot of brands seem to be more body positivity, more open to like exploring new uh, talents, you know, new creators who look a different way. And I think I can see where I have a space as a creator beyond just how I look. Oh, exchange cups. Well, you put the right be nice. Ha, must like, exchange. Ha. Ha. Oh. I think I'll just taste better. Ha, must just, exchange. Ha. Exchange, okay. Ah, gante. Not so bad. Oh my god, I'm allergic to rosemary. Huh? I, I just remembered. She said okay. Oh my goodness. 